Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me a photograph and needed some help trying to engrave it, and I actually think the photograph itself will engrave. I did run it through Photograve and sent him both just to kind of play around with. But then he, he, he was excited, and he wanted to know how I got rid of the background. And I got back got rid of some of the foreground also. So originally, the picture is like a picture of a picture an old picture. So with it selected, some other pictures don't go away. I'm going to grab the crop tool and I'm going to crop out even that written part of the, you know what? He just wanted the build. I'm going to crop out that water tank. And then this way you get rid of that. I'm going to leave the rubber tractors. I think they're cool. And then just crop. Now this thing is huge. It's a big picture. So with my ratio lock, I'm going to make it just four inches. And then I'm going to set my nudge factor on five. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm actually going to move it over twice. And because we're small, we don't, I don't want to change the color or anything right now. I just want to get rid of the sky. So we're going to go trace bitmap outline trace clip art. <clears throat> it's going to take just a second to do it. And it's done. Now you can see it removed some of the background already if we bring in a yellow box. But there is some stuff in there that you can see. There's little flakes of trash. So we're going to go to object and group and ungroup. And then I'm actually going to take the yellow box away because I can see them without. Now there's going to be some leaks if we do the next trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to select it all and I'm going to left click, no fill, right click outline. And I kind of got the advantage because I know where the leaks are and there's a leak like right here. Because all I'm trying to do is get the outline of the building. So I'm going to take the highest point and put it all the way over. The, whoop, I missed. Make sure you make the, it sealed so it won't leak. And then we got a spot up top, you know, and at this time you could maybe take away that other stuff, but that's not really the point. So I'm going to go from there to there. Um, I am even going to go from there to, the, it doesn't matter if the lines go past, um, cause in just a second, you'll see what, what I'm doing and like right here. So I basically I'm going to stop the smart fill from. I'm going to go all the way and that will encompass that bad spot. And then there's a spot right here, I think. And if I don't get them all, you at least you understand what I'm doing. And I think we're good to go. So now I'm going to take a rectangle, put it around our building and smart fill the outside of the building with blue. And I got all the leaks, I think. So now I'm going to nudge that down. And I'm going to smart fill. I could do it with blue, but just to, so you can see it, I'm going to do it in red. Then I'm going to nudge that over. So this is our original picture. And if you look, let me go ahead and put a yellow box around it. You can see the, I'm going to go to order back a page. You can see the background of the sky. Well, I'm going to move this up and I'm going to just select the two. And then I'm going to go to intersect. And voila, you have removed the background of that picture. And I really think that would engrave. I would quite possibly go to bitmap and maybe go to mode and turn it to a grayscale before I'd engrave it. Uh, but a lot of things like this will surprise you how it would engrave. You know, I, I actually told him to test it on a sample of wood. You know, I'd test it like at uh, 400 dots per inch at 70 speed, 100 power, and then go up or down with that. You know, you can go up to 600 dots per inch, but I really think 70 uh, or 300 dots, or excuse me, 400 dots per inch, 400 dots per inch at 70 power and 100 speed. We'll just give you a light coating just to see what it looks like.
because the dark should engrave darker than the other. And um, anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.